and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Yasuo Swain. It's a fun one to play, and I was kind of thinking of a deck that we, you know, I was thinking about decks that we haven't played in a while that could be good against the larger Noxus units. I was thinking maybe Yasuo Swain with the ability of a card like Yone to be able to stun large units. Um, and then like Mina Swiftfoot, recall them, like that kind of stuff. Um, so you, maybe Yasuo could be good. And, and, you know, we have our own large units, Minotaur Reckoner, uh, that can match up against theirs. And uh, we have, we also have like some, some bounce spells, you know, if they're playing like Bas Bacillus Grider, Darius, that kind of stuff. You know, we could use like our Will of Ionia, Concussive Palm, um, things like that, Arachnoid Sentry, kind of keep their things in check for a little bit and maybe out-tempo them with Yasuo. I wanted to give it a try, and so that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, decided to cut back on Swain. Our deck doesn't level up Swain that well, and we do have the Levi Leviathans that can draw Swains. So we're going to play two, and I wanted to play a Katarina instead, be able to get that Blade's Edge and be able to have this uh, in the late game to be able to get extra attacks uh, with some of these things. And plus, Katarina plus Fey Blade Twirler is a pretty nice combo. Uh, you keep re you recall your Katarina, uh, buff up the Blade Twirler. That's not a bad combo either. So yeah, we got some cool little things in here. I have added in two Spirits Refuges. Also, that was a card that I wasn't playing before in this deck uh, to get that Life Steal to try to get that extra uh, get that extra life. Um, so I'm using this as a protection spell instead of Twin Disciplines, which I really like Twin Disciplines and I love how it's three mana. But I kind of feel like that Life Steal is really important these days, so we're going to be using that. And we can like life steal a Yasuo, and that because the the Yasuo is striking things, so you know like a leveled up Yasuo, maybe it strikes a couple of things, and we can spirits refuge it, and then you just gain a bunch of life. That could be important too. So we're gonna try that. So here we go. Let's go play uh, five five games over in ranked with some Yasuo Swain. All right, looks like we got a quick update. I would. I would kind of expect this to be where you don't get to see the opponent's deck name anymore. That would be my guess, is what that update is all about. Yeah, sitting down today, Jeffrey up, yep, sitting down. Um, I helped a, helped a friend move earlier today, so I did a lot of carrying boxes and things like that. So I got my workout in for the day. So not, yeah, not standing up, just sitting down. Okay, yep, they fixed it. So now, you know, before we could see what the deck name was. Cool, cool, cool. Glad that's fixed. Uh, this hand, kind of slow. We're going to keep Yasuo and Mulligan the rest. Alright, they got their breast card. No idea, Johnny. I hadn't seen anything about that, so no idea. Maybe somebody in chat knows. All right, we'll just play Shadow Assassin to block and trade. I want to save Arachnoid Sentry. I'm fine with trading. They can gain their three life. They're at 20 anyways. And then we'll just get Yasuo in play. The and then we can use this to stun and kill things. Got an atrocity out of there. I've had a strong deep hand. That's ex basically exactly what you want with a deep deck. See how handsome I do? Um. Okay, so we could intimidating roar. Uh, okay, they can't. They don't have the mana for jettison. So, sure, we'll just intimidating roar. 
stun both of those. Kill that. Keep them from attacking with that 3 1. With a 3 1. For now. Certainly hoping these Yones are going to do a lot for me. We kind of need them to. <laughs> you never have Yasuo turn four. So that's why you don't play Yasuo. Okay, so so the answer no, is no, Johnny. Those are not real cards. You saw there. The dark beckons. Oh, I can't wait. Not bad. We'll take that. That can stun some overly large units. I just attack right away, they get to block my 6-6. Six, six. I just have to draw one card to get... Uh, to go deep. Um... Seven mana. Everything just doesn't isn't working out for us. Like I could Will of Ionia bounce the Nautilus, but they can just replay it because they have exactly seven mana. Um, I can't. I can't go like Spirits. If I Spirits Refuge this, then I don't get to. Then I don't get to Yone. I guess I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm going to Spirits Refuge this and bounce that. And so they'd have to spend the rest of their mana again playing replaying the Nautilus. That hurts. Drag them down. Mm. Smart play by them. Smart play by them. I think they're gonna play another sea monster, and then I was gonna Yone and pump this thing up. How many atrocities are they going to play? Are they playing two atrocities? Likely, right? Like, usually people play two atrocities. We saw one atrocity got tossed.
Hopefully it's just one. Stop. Yeah, a lot of people play two atrocities. We're gonna hope they just have the one. I'll do what must be done. No. That hurt. That was going to be a huge attacker. That hurt. I could just block with that thing. Gonna be like a nine three. Only I can quell the wind. Hmm. Okay, so. They should probably just be drawing more Nautiluses. Um, Big ships sink faster. Wow. They didn't even they didn't even toss any, so all their car yeah, all those cards were just just the champions. The Isles will bloom again. We're not in the worst spot. Okay, now we're in the worst spot. Now they basically just now they're gonna just have infinite infinite Nautilus. They're just gonna keep on riptiding my stuff. Um oh well we're just dead. I guess the transfusion means we're not dead. Okay, so you have to block You're gonna have to block over there. You can block here. Let's take a good look at you. You can block here, so then we'll do minus there, pump this thing. You can block there. My Give them room to spread their lead. Think we'd seek to. We do have a Leviathan somewhere in the deck. Uh, but the problem is they're going to just keep on drawing Nautiluses. And well, also the problem is all of these things in play. Nautilus is just a good card. They had a couple of things like that. That Grass the Undying, that was really nice. And then having the 1 1 just to be able to block it.
but Riptide. Riptide taking my Minotaur Reckoner, then my Leviathan, and now they should have more Riptides. Riptide won us this one of my opponent this game. No, they don't have Atrocity. That doesn't doesn't matter. Riptide is the problem. Alright, GG's. Too many Riptides. Oh, and one. Our deck's pretty decent against big units, but they got us that time. They were they were all they were all like they didn't have like actual Riptide. It was all uh, Nautilus's Riptide. All of them were you know they just had Nautilus on seven, and then whenever I tried to bounce Nautilus, the next turn, then they had the Riptide to get rid of my Minotaur Reckoner. That was huge, and then and then just they just eliminated the rest of their deck, and and then they had another one, and so like they would just keep drawing the the Riptides. Yeah, I, I don't like the Riptide card. I wouldn't play that. I wouldn't recommend playing it. Okay, not of this. So, same matchup. Let's see how it goes. Love having the Blade Twirler. Love that. I mean, I guess, like, the, the Riptide card is good against Darius. And so if you're expect so right now if you're expecting to face against a lot of Darius, I can see playing it. So shouldn't So it is good there. This is pretty nice having the Arachnoid Sentry Ravenous Block combo. That's pretty nice. Do I attack with the 3-1? I guess, I guess that answer is no. That was a quick block. They snapped that block off real quick. Corruption everywhere. Okay, we're gonna go straight to attacks. Yeah, so I can't play that thing. Fish out of water. You defile the grove. We're not a very good Swain deck. That's why that's why I replaced one Swain with a Katarina. Which I wish we had Katarina right now. They are a good Maokai deck.
So I don't know. I I assume those two devour depths are just gone for good. I assume, but I guess I'm not sure. Only I can quell the wind. Get them. Pay the they may be trying to grasp the undying and maybe we get to Spirit's Refuge and kill him. Maybe. Hopefully. Why would the 1-1 one, one block the 3-2 instead of that? That's got to be Withering Will then, right? What? Are they, why would a 1-1 one, one block? Oh, it's Riptide. Uh, but why would you chump block a 3-2 instead of blocking the 6-6? Six, six? How would that make sense? I've been really happy with the Yone. I kind of feel like we need a third Yone. I don't know. I mean, I guess if we play against these kind of decks. We need more Yones. More Mina Swiftfoot. Alright, looks like I should have Ravenous blocked that thing. Well, I could. It's too late now. I thought we could do that during combat. Deep cards are pretty good. Pretty good. It wasn't exactly what I was building this deck to play against. Though, to be honest. This this person played actual Riptide. My my previous opponent all played just all Nautilus uh, Riptides. I need more Mina Swiftfoot. That's cool. That's pretty cool. So I either keep them from gaining six life, or gaining three life, or I kill the one one. I guess I let them gain three life. Humility before power. Ugh, why can't I do both of these? I need to do both. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. We had one more mana. Should 
We play Swain Sea Monsters. So we can level up Swain with Kill Breaker. I will break. Victory awaits. I would level up Swain pretty fast. Pass. 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 Danger no. Pain. I was hoping that they would pass, you know, like we'd be able to stun one of the, like those 10 8s. Well, if they don't have a fast beat spell, we win. I will not rest. Nine damage, they're at eight. So we have a chance. Are you telling me there's a chance? Okay, we still have a chance. We got that one stopped. No. I have Darn. So close. So close. They had to have three things. You know, they had to have another unit to play and then two, the two spells. So, like, we, we forced them to have three things. So that's, that's about as good as we could have done. That's the second time that, like, they Maokai get rid of, like, all of our library and we draw a Crimson Disciple, <laughs> our cheapest card. Yeah, that's true, we could have top deck Transfusion. That's true, that could have been a, a top deck here with the Disciple. That's a good point. All right, Yasuo Swain, you're gonna have to turn some things around to win the next three. Deep is supposed to beat mid-range decks though, right? Like, isn't that like the whole point of that deep deck is to beat mid-range? They've barely won both of those games. They've been super close and they've had really good hands both times. Both times it's just key Riptides killing us. Multiple Riptides. No, Deep's not supposed to beat aggro. No, that's why that's why they turned the the one mana two one into a one one because they said that it was too easy for Deep to stabilize. That they wanted Deep because of like all the late game power Deep has, they wanted it to struggle more in the early game. Which is that's that was the reasoning behind turning the one one into the two one. Um, I kind of like these cards. I think I may just keep this. Even Reckoner. I think I may just keep the whole thing. It's not like I need to mulligan Reckoner and, like, look for a 2-drop. We already have a 2-drop. Already have a 3-drop. Concussive Palm's a good card. Um, I'll play this, though, as my 2-drop. And... Minotaur Reckoner does sound pretty cool against my opponent. Alright, so that was kind of weird how I didn't attack. You think, why why wouldn't you just attack? You should attack you should attack for four. I had four free damage. But Sleep is for the guilt. I thought it was pretty likely my opponent had Catalyst of Aeons, right? Like, they played nothing for six mana. They wanted to Catalyst of Aeons. That was my thinking. And... Just... And so they were going to take four, and then... Um, and then gain three from Catalyst and only take one damage. And so by passing, I didn't allow them to do that. Now that could have been wrong. Like, like if they didn't have Catalyst, that would have been wrong. 
Um, but I went, went for that. Could be the plan again. This time, though, we're doing a lot more than four damage. We'd be doing a lot more. So I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Because now we're doing 10 damage. So I, I think that we can't... It's easy to pass up on 4 damage. I think it's less easy to pass up on 10 damage. And yeah, there's the Catalyst. So I definitely slowed them down by not attacking. So I liked I like having one Reckoner. I don't know about three Reckoners. I reckon that could be too many of those. You should stay back, cowards. I love a taste of the action. Oh, right. Eh, well, stuns the weakest enemy. I was thinking it was gonna be stunning the three-three, but now it stuns the weakest. Could get ruinationed. It's a good sign of them not having ruination. I mean, there's not really a reason to play Yasuo right now. I would have just wanted. Uh, I wanted to draw the card. We're going to be able to go straight to attacks. Stun both things. Have a Spirit's Refuge for protection. Let's go. All right, got the win. Good job, Reckoner. I wonder if, like, with the new set in August, if they're going to have, like, a champion that really synergizes well with Yasuo. Because Swain kind of synergizes with Yasuo, but not really. I wonder if that will be a thing. I took out deny. I don't. I don't love deny in this meta game. What would you? You said you want to add deny. What would you take out for deny? The order rewards its faithful. The dark beckons. Delicious. It's too late for you. Basically, I could I could go for the really high upside play of Yasuo intimidating Roar kills that T2, and so not kill the T2, not not block the T2. Could go for that. No, well, 
not that turn. Minotaur Reckoner will not stun if if Minotaur Reckoner comes into play from War Mother's Call. It will not stun the turn that it comes into play. It has to. It has to have been from. It had to have been in play at the round start. You know, because when it comes into play, it's not round start. It's if that makes sense. So um, it will start stunning stuff the next turn, but not that turn. Fluffy tails fool ya. I go where the road takes me. Impressive move. Here's our chance. Brain here is opinionated. Oh, I love a taste of the action. Fluffy tails fool ya. Oh, I can't. Wait. Yeah, deny can be a good card. But hmm. The order rewards its faithful. But I don't know. I'm not. Death is like the wind. There's a lot of times in the metagame where it, it doesn't do enough. And so I don't know, I'm just not sold on it. This is kind of messy. Yasuo v Yasuo. This is messy. Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess I could have attacked with Yasuo after they played theirs, couldn't I? Wanna see these moves up close? You cannot escape. I'm worried about my life total. I'm going to sacrifice my Shadow Assassin to save life. Yes, yes, I understand what the card Deny does. Now we've got the other hand. I'm gonna pass if they want to. If they want to pass turn, also, um, you know, I'll take that. So our Yasuo is at 2 out of 5, theirs is also at 2 out of 5. Yeah, I mean, I, I should have attacked with the Yasuo the previous turn, that was a mistake by me. Hmm, they're going Lifesteal Barrier as well.
And I think I'd rather, I could play a Rachnoid Sentry to kill Yasuo, but I think I'd rather save my kind of lessons. that. Um, so we're looking at nine mana this next turn if I spend five on Intimidating Roar. Oh no, ten. Okay, so we spend five, we can do Swain. All right, I guess we can play Swain. The for the men. I'll go ahead and do that first. Let them spend some mana, see what they do. Thanks, Eduardo. Thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful night as well. Well, admittedly, that's not that's not the ideal play, but that's really not that bad. Because we'll kill all of these. Well, I guess we don't kill them all. We're only we're killing two of the three. The blade twirler gets to stay alive. Swain levels up. Um, yeah, I mean that was a that was a big misplay by me not attacking for that four damage. Like that them being at fourteen. Could be a huge difference. No one is I think we're still okay. Like Swiftfoot should be awesome. I think we're okay. Cause we attack. They block Swain probably. And yeah, they go to one. So yeah, if I would have attacked with Yasuo, if they would have taken that four before we could have just had lethal. Possibly. Let me show you what I can do. Seven mana left. The problem is. If if they have deny, uh, we're in a little bit of trouble, but not the most. Feet were made for Rome and kick it. Obviously, I do not want to bounce Demolitionist. That's the card down. that I don't want to bounce. Don't want to allow them to do that again. If they don't have deny, and if they don't get rid of my Yasuo, this will just be a removal spell, and it'll just kill all of them. Yeah, so we'll just strike them all. Swiftfoot has been awesome. Feels like we need another Indecision Swiftfoot. Is the first of many weaknesses. Okay, so their stuff doesn't die. Um, and, and now they can re they can replay the two drops. Think it fast, cute. I'll try anyone. So presumably I could just go straight to attacks and win. They could go block, 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 and stun Swain, however, and I would not win. So maybe we start with Yone and say stun, stun. So young, so careless. If they have another demolitionist, I lose. 
But I think it's more likely that one of these three cards that we don't know about is any stun or recall card, because that's what these decks do a lot of, and so that they would be able to do that to the Swain, and, and so therefore I wouldn't win, which I kind of need to win here. I think it's more likely they have that than they have Demolitionist. And if they have Demolitionist, oh well, you know, GG's. That's true. If it was a demolition, it was a top deck, because with the four mana they had last turn, they could have just gone Crimson, replay Crimson Disciple, play Demolition as Kill Me. All right, two and two, coming back. Getting away from Dem Deep cards, and we are coming back. GG. All right, let's go. Let's get that three, two. Get that positive win percentage. Swiftfoot is a satisfying card to play. Mina Swiftfoot. <laughs> it's kind of a silly animation and silly art too. Just like, <laughs> just standing on one leg and then having so many kicks. <laughs> that animation. It's Still on balance. It's kind of silly. And like, nobody like moves out of the way or anything. Just like, kick you three times, and kick you three times, and you three times. I can't see their deck name. I don't know what deck they're playing now. So let's see how we do against Noxus. Uh, preferably we find a two drop. Two drop. Crimson Disciple. Blade Twirler. Nope. Yeah, how can I possibly know what, what deck this is now? Without knowing their deck name. They'll never see it coming. We're already down to ten, down to nine. It's turn three. Yuck! That's a lot of damage. Death is like the wind, always by my side. It's a lot of damage. Yes. Whatever. I want block go down to seven. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. All right, so we're too slow for the Noxus deck with that kind of hands. Yuck. Time to start over again. I was asking for two drops, right? Like I, I really wanted a, a two mana card to play. But what I didn't think is that for me asking for a two drop, for me to play something on turn two, so I would, you know, I wouldn't just have to wait till turn three before I could play my first thing, is that I would give my opponent all the two drops, and so those they they had the Legion Grenadiers and Crimson Disciples and stuff like that. So that's that I didn't I didn't consider that as part of my my plan when I was asking for two drops is that my opponent, you know, I would then be giving my opponent all the two drops. So yeah, we kind of saw how Ravenous Flock can be a little awkward, and yeah, just having the six six cards to play before turn two. Sorry, before turn three. That can be a little rough. So I couldn't get to these late game cards at all. Like having the late game cards didn't really matter too much because 
Like, I didn't even have time to play Arachnoid Sentry, and it's the, the third cheapest card in my deck, and I didn't have time for it. <laughs> uh, that Noxus deck's good. Yeah, the the plan went wrong. The plan went wrong. I, I uh, gave my opponent the two drops. All right, but anyway, there we go. That's Yasuo Swain. Um, really close games against the deep deck. They just out rip tided me. Uh, those definitely could have gone our way, but then, yeah, that last game against Noxus didn't look so good. This kind of deck, see, I was I was really more thinking of, like, stuff, cards that could match up well against Basilis Grider and Darius, and I think we could match up kind of well against those cards. Crimson Disciple, Legion Grenadier, we don't match up well against those two cards. And Legion Saboteur, like, those cards we don't match up well against, and that's what my opponent had. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of... I mean, like, Ravenous Flock is... I don't know if it's a three of. It's it's like a, it's a hit or miss. It's a great combo with Sentry and Concussive Palm. But it's kind of a hit or miss. It's it's like one of our only ways to level up Swain to... I don't know if the, our deck does a great job leveling up Swain and, and things like that. So, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe like the whole Leviathan, Swain, Crimson Disciple part of our deck isn't good enough with the rest of our cards, and we and it needs to uh, pivot away from those. Like Yone looked good, Swiftfoot looked amazing. I don't know about Leviathan. Like maybe you just don't need Leviathan, Swain, and play more Swiftfoots and another Yone. Like more more of those two cards, and then kind of move away from. Swain and Crimson Disciple and get other cheap things going on. I mean, you could still play Crimson Disciple, I suppose, if you want, but, um, you know, maybe get some other, some other more defensive options there. I don't have, like, the greatest ideas for those. I'd be thinking, like, Legion Grenadier is a good blocker. Uh, can block like fearsome stuff. Can block other stuff. You could have like claws, of, claw of the dragon, as a three-two. Some people play eye of the dragon. I suppose you could do that. Not a huge eye of the dragon fan, but I don't know. Maybe. Um, it's just not. If we don't play Swain, there's not another one of these champions that like jump out of the page and be like, "Ooh, we should play this champion." There's not another, like, I really like, so basically I really like Arachnoid Sentry and Concussive Palm and Will of Ionia and Spirit's Refuge and Yasuo and Intimidating Roar and Minotaur Reckoner and Yone and Mina Swiftfoot. So, like, there's a really, there's a lot of cards to like and it's a really good, um, and obviously Fae Blade Twirler also uh, in there, Shadow Assassin. There's a really good core it's just, I don't know exactly how to supplement that core. What the other, you know, the, it's a good, like, 25 cards. I'm not sure exactly what to play for the other 15. Because I wasn't really impressed with the other 15 while we were playing these games. Um, but... Uh... Yeah. And if you move away from Noxus, Arachnoid Sentry and Minotaur Reckoner are both awesome. So moving away from Noxus would be kind of rough. And I don't know if there's like a, another really good champion to make moving away from Noxus worth it. The one that I would probably be the most interested in would be probably Twisted Fate. And then that gives you like... Um, early bilge water removal with like make it rain um and then you know you have your pilfer goods and black market merchant and all that kind of stuff that could give you like some card advantage and kind of be cool in your deck uh it's pro the noxus stuff's probably better though but anyway there we go that's yasuo swain y'all watch it on youtube feel free to to let me know in the comments what you think about like those like that all that stuff i was just saying let me know if you have any ideas for other ways to use Yasuo if you've been pairing it with something else. Um, 
you know if you got other ideas for like those non those other like 15 ish non core cards um, what to do there anyway that's it here though for Yasuo Swain thanks everybody for watching I really appreciate it y'all are amazing have a wonderful night and I'll see you for the next video